Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I was not staring into this guy's ear the whole time because you see, I decided to give my other deck a little bit of love starting here. So I'm gonna select that and let's battle the next person. I'm Daniel. On mine and cards belong to GR number four. Oh, no battle? Okay. <laughs> My name is Howard. I was a psychic club member. Well, you kind of still are. Now, I'm with GR number four. Oh man, so there's really only two to battle, huh? <laughs> I am a Ray. I will fight you. No. I won't let you leave without fighting me. No. 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 Oh. Aha! Ah, this is new dialogue. <laughs> no. 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 Since you utterly refuse to fight, I'll let you leave. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't fight me, you can't save the Psychic Club. Don't even bother talking to me. I'll only repeat myself once. If you wish to challenge me, you must defeat Murray first. I already told you this. Remember this time. Okay, okay, fine. Murray it is. <laughs> Alright, he's not gonna let me... Well, yeah, he sort of lets me after a bunch of no's. Eyes, cards, six. GR, second hand deck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so he was given a deck by Team GR, and I've got critters, oh, another one of these hands. I've got critters, and I know how to use them, hopefully. <laughs> it's not as powerful as the fire fighting deck, because I don't have as many uh, fleshed out water and grass Pokemon, but it should be alright, I mean... <laughs> Just do 10 damage, so that is like a usual attack and whatnot. It's like, it's flop on over. This time, though, I do have Pokemon Trader, so I can use this to grab something else from my deck that I can actually use. I'm leaning towards probably a Staryu, because the Staryu has a nice slapper and whatnot, so and I'm also anticipating you know, more water energy in the future, but who knows how things will work out. Uh, so I'll start you on the bench. Unfortunately, no retreat for me, but... Oops, I mean, that's wrong. Shortcut key. You can do the flop for 10, as you know, with this version of Magikarp, with just the grass energy. But hold on! I want to do a bill first. <laughs> oh, there's the Venusaur again! <laughs> um... I could plus power that flop to really make it a powerful flop. Um, but I was actually also thinking maybe I should evolve with the Gyarados using the rapid evolution. I'm just like swapping it over to something. So many options! So little time! <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll. I will actually do that. Retreat. For that, star you and then just end the turn. I mean, yeah, the star you will take a little bit of scratch damage too, but yeah, I didn't really have the star you in the hand. Oh, you're gonna go like that, huh? I was expecting you. Okay, that's actually gonna be a problem anyway. So I guess I will have no choice but to let that poor fish go and play another fish. So let's slap a roo and hopefully knock out that Abra a little bit quicker. But yeah, that uh, Magikarp wouldn't even be able to knock it out in two turns anyway, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, fish. I tried my best. I tried my best. Ooh, I tried my best. Um, I wonder if I should focus on that Clefairy there. Maybe. Like, energy removal? I think he's just gonna put another energy card right away, so I might wanna just hold on to that until I can do something more impactful. I wish I had more energy removal cards in my deck, dang it. <laughs> I do have a decent amount of draw cards, so I could potentially draw into a whole bunch of poop to destroy his scoop. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so if Star you wakes up, I'll be able to slap a rule as usual. Nope. Aww. Aww. So, sleep was successful. Goldeen gets flopped on the bench. I'll leave all the other Goldeen because it's only one power anyway. I wonder if I should 
Hmm. Gust the wind, the Mr. Mario. I don't know. I mean, I, I think it's, I think it's about gonna end up being the same damage, if not more. If I swap to Mr. Mime in the long run, he's gonna be doing the juggling. I mean, that, that slapping side. <laughs> yeah, he's got more energies for the energies. So let's go ahead and hope for the best in recover. Dang it! <laughs> in recovering from sleep. Okay, Professor Oak, we've got something here. Alright. So, let's go ahead and slurp that energy away for the future. And... Also, probably, I guess, just, I don't know, plop it on there. And that's not going to get any use. I don't, I don't really know if I want to force him to switch. So, and I also don't have any evolution of Venusaur. So, it's, I guess, it's, you don't have to press the rope. All those good cards away. But, we'll be able to... To do some hasty recovering as a result of that. So while I do like to utilize all that I have in my hand before I use Professor Oak, sometimes it's just good to Professor Oak because of Professor Oak's sake, you know? <laughs> wow, double tails in a row. Not that it matters because Clefairy is going to put it back to sleep anyway, but well, well, that's just how the coin flip flips. What? No way! I can't even do 20 damage to it with... <laughs> Come on! Uh, well, I can power up Scyther, because the Seeking only requires two energy cards, you know, just to... I could defend Staryu. I'm probably going to draw another Staryu. <laughs> and I could use the Defender against the big... I mean, with the big bruisers, you know? Oh, sure. Now! Too late! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, yeah, neutral damage. No, make this resistance. Oh no! Oh no! He's gonna have so much more power than I am. <laughs> Look at that happy face. That face was the face of death right there. And yeah, you just knock all star you was expected. Yeah, I'm gonna go over to the fish. Well, the bigger fish. And. Have a happy time waterfalling. Well, I got another seeking, by the way. I should probably, yeah. And waterfall. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna defend for just ten damage. I mean, it's just. It just seems like a waste of defender. Um. Oh. <laughs> I mean, a potion is more helpful to you than my defender is to me at this point. But no, let me guess. Seeking's not gonna wake up. Do a coin flip. Of course not! <laughs> uh, Gyarados, uh, I could use that when I was magic harping. Uh, but what I could do in the meantime is power up Scyther for the 40. Uh, that's that other version of Scyther, not uh, the jungle Scyther you know of, in that it does 40, but only every other turn. So, yeah. Anyway, Seeki's probably is still asleep between turns! Oh no! Oh my Arceus, I can't believe it. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. I guess I'll go power up the other seeking and continue the waterfall barrage. Finally! <laughs> so he's just kinda nicking away at my health reserves in a way. I I I guess you could call it. Let's see if he wakes up. Yes! Alright, so... Now... Since he's probably gonna switch over to Mr. Mime... I'm, I should probably, for realsies, defend her this time. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna give the other grass to the Seeking. And Waterfall. So this will kind of put him in a position where he can't really do much to Seeking because he was probably planning on switching in, yep, there it is, switching in Mr. Mime to do the multi-attack madness, and it's probably not going to do more than 20 damage on average based on the, the coin flip probabilities, so yeah, I'm probably not, yeah, well, I was going to say I'm not, I'm not going to take damage, I mean... I was probably not going to take damage from that juggling, and I was correcto. There we go! <laughs> Alright, so now we got 
the Gyarados waiting in the wings, just two more water energy cards to go. In the meantime, let's waterfall that Mr. Mime and hope he doesn't get four heads. Because I would really put a wrench in my plan to stall out while I get the waters. Because I don't know how long the other fish will last. Uh, well, we're good for this turn, but it, yeah, there's the 50 damage of uh, ex expectation of juggling. And Bulbasaur, that's okay. I suppose I should do that just to plan for the future. And I think I'm also gonna do one more Defender to throw him off and then Waterfall to finish off this Mr. Mime. There we go. Happy day. The big happy days. <laughs> That's definitely what I call a prize card. <laughs> uh, nope, confusion on the fish. Poor fish. That was probably the better move, actually, right there, because instead of him licking and attempting paralysis, he can instead get confusion in. And in case I have another defender, I can, yeah. So, alright, so I'm gonna just immediately dump out my entire hand here, because I can then just freely draw seven cards with no issue, and well, there's another star you. Oh, let's build. <laughs> sure, why not? Goldie energy removal, yes! Um, I, don't, I don't know if I should try attacking with Seeking while it's in confusion when I can kind of wait things out for, yeah, the last the last water that I need for Gyarados. So I'm thinking I should offset future Mr. Mime there with an energy removal. And then... I guess call it a turn. <laughs> it's tempting to, to, like, attack with that, but I, I could knock out my own fish and then he's gonna get a free attack onto whatever else I put into it, so... Yeah, let's see if he draws four cards. Oh, man! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> uh, we got a special Mew going on in the house. Tongue Wrap is a licking, And it is a paralysis in. so yeah. I was expecting, like, maybe... I mean, actually, I was hoping maybe if... Seeking wasn't per per pff, wasn't paralyzed. I'd be able to uh, do an attack, but alas, that is not the case. Okay, so Mew got Psy Wave, ten damage times number of energy cards, and Devolution Beam. So, wait, maybe I showed this one before. It's not not this. Yeah, I think I did show this Mew before. You can choose e evolve. I mean, yeah, you can de evolve Pokemon, and yeah, yeah, it's. Uh, interesting card, but anyway, alright, so, <laughs> uh, I don't have the Venom, wait, I do have the Venom app for the, what am I thinking? Oh, uh, wait, actually, I mean, I got the other water for the big fish, so I guess I should set that up, and can't attack anyway, so let's go. But when the big fish comes, that will probably be game over, new version of Slowbro, Tongue wrap can do the paralysis, which doesn't matter. Poor fish. Poor fish. I wonder if I should actually use the other fish in the meantime. Hmm. I mean, I could, like, because I could put pressure on him by weakening the Lickitung before it can do a bunch of damage to the Gyarados by maybe lucky coin flips or something. Anyway, new version of Slowbro. Big yawn. It both goes to sleep when that happens. And Big Snore, you can only use it if Slowbro was asleep. So like uh, uh, Dream Eater Haunter, you probably won't get that attack off very often. Just saying. <laughs> because the coin flips work on both sides, not just recovery from the sleep on the opponent's side. So yeah, I guess you might actually wake yourself up and that will cause ire. But anyway, let's Waterfall Lickitung to nick away its damage a little bit. And if, actually, couldn't I plus power Gyarados if my fish doesn't get paralyzed? Yeah, I think I might just do that. Do a little surprise attack here. Let's go ahead and retreat into Gyarados. Get that plus power. On the big fish! 
Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, I might as well. Um, I also might as well Venomoth, I guess. Uh, just to kind of shift stuff around if need be. Uh, and I guess I'll play another Stario and then Dragon Rage for 60, not 50 because of the surprise plus power. Hell! Price card. <laughs> yeah, that's the power of plus powers of surprise attacks. So, big yawn, here comes double sleep. <laughs> but chances are, one of us is gonna wake up. That does not work in his favor. That definitely does not work in his favor. Alright, um. Let's go ahead then and get Venomoth going. And this is Dragon Raid. I'm not, not really concerned about the other attack of Slowbro. It's gonna take two attacks to KO the Slowbro anyway, so you know, might as well. And with that Mew that can do a bunch of damage based on how many energy cards I have, you know, it kinda is a uh, kinda is a factor. To kind of keep Gyarados in lower energy than Bubble Beaming anyway, so just saying with that one, <laughs> it's a future strategy thinking. And Dragon Rage for the knockout. He's probably gonna try and switch to Mew, uh, because maybe Devolution. What really? Okay, I was gonna say Devolution, and then maybe I don't know, shuffled Gyarados back to my deck or something, but. Maybe he just doesn't really have uh, those sorts of combos. I don't know his deck offhand. It's, just, it's so many decks, I don't even know all the, the deck combinations in the first game offhand. <laughs> There's so, so many decks. Okay, I'm going to prepare for potential star me. Uh, I should probably energy removal to keep Jinx down, because it has a two retreat cost. So, if he was planning on switching to prevent a knockout from two-turn Dragon Rage, he has another think coming now. <laughs> and that means if he can't switch out Jinx, I win on the next turn because Pound does 10 and nothing more. No status effects, no pooping, no scooping. And I also, I could also do insult to injury by, say, discarding that and sucking up those energy cards. I don't know, I don't really have to do that or anything like that. I just Dragon Rage and finish off the game. Woohoo! Victory is mine! Defeated. I. Mint has defeated. <laughs> The mind control I've been under has been safely dispelled! It seems to have been triggered for my defeat. Thank you, Mint. You still fight. Wait. Well, yes, I will. I was, gonna, I was thinking, do we fight on her side? But no, fight, I will fight with... No, wait, that, would, that actually is kind of grammatically odd. Because... No, wait, maybe not. I mean, the context does matter. But, <laughs> but I, I would think that the with is unnecessary there. Will you still fight GR number four? Hmm. In that case, accept this gift. You should find it quite helpful to take her down. A GR number four crafty deck and a coinage. I forgot to switch to the Pikachu coin, didn't I? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm a little behind on the coin demonstration purposes, but <laughs> every time I have a duel, I like to switch to coin I use. It's a nice change of pace. While I seem to be freed from the mind control, the others are not. I'm afraid the spell can't be broken while GR4, until GR4 is defeated. Please, do your best, Mint. And then he goes to pretend that he's still with her. Good luck, Mint, though it seems impossible. So, <laughs> wait, why, why didn't I break the spell on her? No. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we got a new deck. Let's check that deck. See what we have here. So we actually got some lightning and psychic Pokemon to work with here. Let's confirm. Just go over the quantities of things and whatnot really quick here. Just so that you could see what we have. It's yeah, it's, it's another starter deck basically that I could definitely make more powerful. Uh, but 
As as per the tradition, I guess you could say it's. I'm gonna try and use the uh, deck as is and see how it performs. And it's probably not gonna perform all that well. <laughs> New Electabuzz, by the way, it takes a lot of energy. It's not as good as base set Electabuzz. Um, and let's see, you got that pin missile. Could potentially do a bunch of damage. You know those. Uh, yeah, you basically know all those. Alright. Select. Oh, oh. Select that deck and also save our game because it's probably not going to be pretty. <laughs> well, well, you were victorious, weren't you? Big deal. I'm super strong myself, so you'd best be ready to lose. Oh, so you realize that you can't possibly match my super strength? Smart kid. I'll tell you what, I'm kind. I'll let you escape. Go on around with your tail between your legs. I'll just stay here. I won't take that insult. Oh, wait, oh, was that the same? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that's different dialogue. What, hasn't it gotten through? You can't win against my might. Would you still like the duel? Well, if you say so, I'll take you on. No. You don't want to fight me? Get out of my sight then! It's impossible to best my super strength after all. This call will remain under my thumb! So yeah, I can't take that insult of tail between my legs. So yes, we are gonna duel her! <laughs> yes, I was saying, until I found out that there's new dialogue. Six prize cards, kid. <laughs> oh, can you really beat me? I... I could with my main deck, but... <laughs> I don't know about this one! We'll see how things go. Alright, so as you can tell, she's all psychic up. So maybe we'll be able to resist those psychics. Pop a ghastly on there as well, and maybe I'll hold on to the. Well, just, just uh, evolve in the background, maybe if need be, because I don't know who I'll be able to power up safely, and we'll see. So yeah, Drowsy is out, Pound 10, Confusory 10, neither of which can really do anything to Eevee directly. So I'm gonna go and get Eevee going here and tell up Oh <laughs> That's pointless anyway, it's just the thing of eh for fun. <laughs> I'm mainly going for the quick attack, maybe do the extra Oh energy removal. You are super strong because you chose that card. That's a good card. Okay, maybe you're not on them. <laughs> uh ooh, actually. Should I go for a Jolteon? Maybe I'll be able to pull off a Jolteon. Till I prevent any... Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm just hoping that he doesn't confuse, because then I won't really... It won't really be safe to... Oh. Well, okay. I mean, that's alright, but... I, I was going to say, because he won't be... Or she won't be able to, um... Really do any damage to Eevee other than the confusion, but the thing about that confusion is that when I evolve to Jolteon, I'll be able to immediately start attacking because it'll heal all of the energy, I mean, uh, the ire that I've had with it, basically. Anyway, Psyduck is a go. Oh no, new version of Kingler. <laughs> Drowsy and Pound Attacker. By the way, um, you see that it's only doing 10 damage rather than it being um, I mean, rather than it normally being super effective, Ghastly has no weakness, but anyway. <laughs> um, so about that Jolteon. How many energy was that that it took? It's two lightning and nothing. And Ghastly has a zero retreat cost. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> okay, so... Let's see here. Let's go for that pin missile. 20 damage times number of heads. Three heads will be a knockout, but I don't count on that. It's gonna average about... Oh, that's below average. I was gonna say it's gonna average about 40, but that was... Well, chances are I'm gonna knock it out on the next turn, so... Let's hope... Wait, wait, wait. Did you just... Did you just pound? You didn't con- Oh, that's, yeah, you don't have two Psychic for Confuse Ray. Interesting. Does that mean you're lacking in Psychic Energy in general? Hmm. That may be good to know. 
Uh, oh, that's oh, I got that's right. I got that version of Haunter. <sighs> that's not a good Haunter. Ah. Uh, so let's focus on the Magnemite then, and Pin Missile. Let's go, one more head will be the knockout, there we go, there's the average, and we're above average. Would have been nice to have that last turn, but you cannot manipulate your coin flips. Contrary to rumors back in the days of like timing the A button press at just the right time to get heads every time you press it in just the right time. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of those sorts of rumors with Pokemon way back in that it was like they, they had all these sorts of things where if you don't do it right it doesn't work. So it makes people think that when something just happens to work that they did it right. You know, it's it's confirmation bias. <laughs> Uh, I should probably get another EV set up there. And then missile! Can I get above average? And can I get at least average? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> so I'm getting like below average, above average, below average. Yeah, it, it, it's actually evening out to average, so I guess you could say that if I get three heads next time, then we're back up to the average. Okay, there's the other Electabuzz that I'm not too fond of. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to show that Kingler. Saltwater, search your deck up for three energy cards and attach them to Kingler. That's, uh, that's a quick way to power up your double-edged claw there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. So you're, that Kingler's gonna take a lot of damage on the next turn, probably. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to do some trickery to prevent that. Hopefully. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe we will not have to worry about that if we force it to use Double-Edged Claw on something that is not my Jolteon, and then Jolteon it into Oblivion. <laughs> you know? And that was another below-average shot, so... Come on, Jolteon! We need, we need more three coin flips here. We're, we're, we're behind... The <laughs> we're behind in the, the attacks here. Um... Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Yeah, we're gonna go for that EV because of the Psychic Resistance. I'm just kind of ignoring the Ghastly Haunter line. Because, yeah, yeah, I got that Haunter. <laughs> Let's just pretend they're not even there on the bench. <laughs> uh, full heal. Alright, there it is, as expected. So he's gonna use the power up. Uh, he's not, I, I mean, she's not, why do I keep saying he? She's not going to use the power of salt water to try and get, really? I don't understand that AI decision. That, that, uh-uh, no, that, 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 no, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just no! Who would do that? Anyway, that's double damage, so that's an instant knockout to Kingler. So I guess it got up to above average there, because the double damage in a way. I <laughs> Still technically not the coin flip average, but I want to believe that I'm above average just for the sake of happiness. Don't take that away from me. Don't take that away from me. <laughs> uh, ooh, I wonder if I should super potion... Because I can always, uh, like, like I just want to make sure that Jolteon sticks around, basically. So I'm going to discard just that other Psychic that I plopped on there. And yeah, that's not the full use of Super Potion, but that's still pretty nice to get those three damage counters off it, because that puts Jolteon in sort of a, I guess you could say a, a common damage threshold. Because there's a lot of things in the game that can pull off doing 40 damage. And Golduck is out. Uh, let's see uh, what she can do. Uh, third eye. Oh no. Oh no! Not the three cards! Actually, it's probably going to be too late for that because of that. Because Pin Missile is probably going to do it. Uh, do it in. So. So. So, I'm not even going to potion that ghastly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This, this Haunter is... It's horrible. 
<laughs> I'd much rather save the bench for other critters. Um, I would like to attach an energy to something else, like save that Electabuzz in case this goes south, but all I need is two heads. So chances are it won't go... Oh, I was gonna say, chances are it won't go south, but we'll see. Ah, it went south! <laughs> oh man! That coin flip chance is just not working for me. And my spiky evolution of the Eevee variety. <sighs> okay, so it's got the third eye to draw some more. And I wasn't able to take that last prize card before she got another critter on the bench. But, but, well, we still have the opportunity to pin missile the whole team into oblivion. Are you serious? I was gonna say, are you gonna get no he I mean, are you gonna get no heads on that? But no, we're okay. <laughs> it's, just, it's like this coin. Oh, I forgot to switch coins again. Well, well, there's many more opportunities anyway. By the way, all right, draw the one card if you want to. Uh, all right, can I get two heads in the same turn flip? One. Two! Okay! <laughs> there we go. That's enough to win the game. Not that I was in like any sort of peril or anything like that, but this deck actually worked out pretty well for me. Dang it! I lost! Incredible! Oh, thank you for the booster. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I got Dark Slowbro. You can play Dark Slowbro and basic and Pokemon or evolutions from a discard pile and put them into your hand. That can be pretty handy in some cases. And Fickle Attack, it may do nothing. So that 2 for 40 looks pretty cheap until you see the effect. So chances are it's only going to work half the time. And let's keep on going. Uh, not this... I mean, this this Kangaskhan is okay, but it's not like the regular version of Kangaskhan. So I was like, eh. Uh, yeah, see, uh, uh, so it's two for, four, um, two for 20, which is kind of bad, and then you got this, which only has a 25% chance of working, and 80 HP, so yeah, I'd say it's the more inferior version of the Kangaskhan. And this Chansey, it's got the Sleepies, possibly, and it's also got the Double Slappies. But it's also got a lot of HP, so it's gonna do some stalling. I think the original Chansey is still better. Game Boy version of Dark Fearro. I should say it's, it's an exclusive to the Game Boy Dark Fearro Fly High. You may double that Drill Dive's base damage. That's, it's an interesting at attack because you think that you could just use Drill Dive twice, but yeah, see that? You can't attack or retreat during your next turn. Ah, see that? Yeah. So, the idea is to use that to power up Drill Dive when you need to do more damage, or just do Drill Dive straight out, because you're skipping a turn as if it's a Hyper Beam in the regular series. See? Ah, that's a, that's a kind of a thoughtful card to use, but unfortunately Fearow's only got 60 HP, so it's, it's kind of a glass cannon in that way. Um, oh, Super Scoop Up. If you to choose one of your Pokemon, put all cards attached to it in your hand. That's kind of can be useful for recovering a Pokemon and without discarding all the other cards attached to it like regular soup, Scoop Up, but that coin flip is kind of a kind of a potential downer, so... <laughs> And Digger, do 10 damage to your active Pokemon if heads your opponent flips the coin of tails, your opponent does damage. So it's it's not it's probably not gonna work in your favor because you're the first one that flips the coin, and then the opponent flips the coin. So that's a, that's the 25% chance that it's actually gonna do something. And even if the opponent gets, the, uh, the, I mean, if the opponent gets tails, then your chances to reduce even further because then you gotta flip again. Yeah, yeah. And coin hurl, attack anything potentially with your coin flip. Lost Isle. Let's uh, go see what we get. The fairy doll. Here's that uh, puppetry thing that I mentioned before. 
Uh, it's it, it doesn't, I mean, it counts as a Pokemon, but can't be caused status conditions, and it doesn't count as a knocked out Pokemon. So it's like a one turn stall, but in the case of the puppetry Hypno, you can use that to plop out attacks using Clefairy Doll. And Weeping Bell, we, I believe we've seen this particular critter before here. It's not that bad, I guess. It's got, it sort of reminds me of Seeking in a way. Uh, the Twiddle here, and confused and asleep. So regardless of the coin flip, it's still a pretty good outcome. It sort of reminds me of Coughing's Foul Gas. Um, wait, wait, uh, the, the Potty Slam, defending Pokemon is now paralyzed. That could also be... Yeah, pretty decent, I suppose. 70 HP as well is also pretty decent. Uh, if I only I had this Haunter in the deck. If only I had this Haunter. This is really nice to look at the opponent's hand, by the way, just just to predict things for the future. And then there's Nightmare. Uh, yeah, well, it, it's one of those double coin flip things, like I said, follow glass, so... It's 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 win-win. So this is a pretty good version of the Haunters. Maybe even the best version, actually. Uh, although uh, Fossil Haunter isn't too shabby in on itself. This is uh, something that I could play Kabutops with using the Mysterious Fossil. Uh, reduces damage by 10, scratch 10, but it doesn't have much HP at all. It's even lower of a level than what gets revived from the Fossil in the regular games. Interestingly enough, <laughs> uh, Vine Whip, Golfer Family. You know that. You know that, that. That. Okay, we're good. Because you busted my toughness, take this final coin piece. We got the symbol to go to GR Island and a page full of coins. So you've already beaten all the Team G GR members here. You're feared go visit GR Island if you stop by the airport. I'll mail my way back to home turf myself soon enough. I'll be sure to have a stronger deck ready when I'm back home. <laughs> she runs! <laughs> we were so fortunate you had bravely come along and helped us out. Thank you, Mint. It seems the club's safe now. I'll make sure Team GR doesn't capture us all again. <laughs> what happened? Oh, is that so? Thank you, Mint. My name is Robert. I'm a member of the Psychic Club. Really? Thank you so much for saving our club. You're welcome. What about you two? I'm Daniel. I'm in the Psychic Club. Do you remember anything? Thanks for breaking us out of that. Okay, you do remember. That chance Team GR put us on there. But please don't lose respect to our club, Master Murray. It's been so long since he had such top, tough opposition. I am Stephanie of the Psychic Club. GR number four. This rest... <laughs> resentment. I will remember. So she still talks like that. Even though she's not under control. It's just what she does. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part we continue on our card adventure.